Let's start from the smallest, then to the largest. Megalania, a lizard the size of a small bus. It roamed the prehistoric Australian wilderness during the Pleistocene Epoch. At 23 feet long and weighing nearly 2 tons, this giant monitor lizard was an apex predator. Its sharp teeth and powerful limbs made it a formidable hunter, capable of taking down large prey. Fossil evidence suggests that it likely ambushes targets, relying on brute force and deadly efficiency. As one of the largest lizards to ever exist, Megalania dominated its environment until climate changes and human activity contributed to its extinction. Paleoloxodon nematicus The Paleoloxodon nematicus was a prehistoric giant, the largest elephant species and possibly the biggest land mammal ever. It stood 16 feet tall at the shoulder and weighing up to 22 tons. This elephant towered over its contemporaries in the Pleistocene landscapes of Asia. It had straight tusks stretching over 13 feet, and they were likely used for foraging and self-defense. Despite its numerous menacing features, it fed in vast quantities of vegetation as a herbivore. Climate shifts and human competition are believed to have led to the decline of this colossal species, leaving only its fossils to tell its story. Titanoboa serogenensis Titanoboa, a snake so large it could swallow a crocodile hole. This prehistoric predator lived 60 million years ago back in the Paleocene Epoch in what's now Colombia. Out of the 50 feet long and weighing over a ton, this monster dominated its tropical environment. Scientists believe that it hunted in murky waters, ambushing unsuspecting prey with incredible speed and strength. Its size was made possible by the warm climate of its time, which allowed cold-blooded reptiles to go to such extremes. Fossil evidence such as the Titanoboa's immense power and serpentine agility made it virtually unstoppable, ruling the rivers of its prehistoric habitat as an apex predator of its time. Spinosaurus aegyptiacus The largest known carnivorous dinosaur. It was a semi-aquatic hunter of unparalleled scale. Out up to 59 feet long and weighing 9 tons, it dwarfed most predators of the Cretaceous period. Its crocodile-like snout, packed with sharp teeth and paddle-like limbs, suggested it hunted fish and other aquatic prey. The sail-like structure on its back may have been used for display or thermoregulation. Spinosaurus ruled the waterways of what is now North Africa, its fossils painting a picture of a uniquely adapted predator at the top of its food chain. Sarcosuchus, more commonly known as the super croc. It was a crocodilian giant of the Cretaceous period, reaching 40 feet in length and weighing 8 tons. It was twice the size of today's largest crocodiles. With a long snout filled with over 100 teeth, Sarcosuchus was a deadly ambush predator, capable of taking down dinosaurs that ventured too close to the water's edge. Its fossils found in Africa reveal a predator built for power, its immense size securing its place as one of the largest crocodilians to ever exist. Argentinosaurus Argentinosaurus was a dinosaur of unimaginable scale, one of the largest land animals to ever walk the earth. This titanic herbivore measured up to 115 feet long and weighed as much as 100 tons. Living in the late Cretaceous period in South America, it lightly grazed on tall vegetation. It had a long neck, enabling it to reach food sources unavailable for other species. Fossils suggest that it moved in herds for protection, as even its massive size couldn't fully deter predators like the Gignotosaurus. Argentinosaurus remains a symbol of nature's incredible extremes. Varicerotherium, the largest land mammal known. It was a hornless giant resembling a modern rhinoceros. Standing up to 18 feet tall at the shoulder and weighing 20 tons, it lived during the Oligocene Epoch in Asia. This colossal herbivore uses long neck to feed on leaves from the tops of trees. Despite its immense size, it likely faced few natural predators. Fossils indicate that Paraceratherium roamed vast open landscapes, leaving behind a legacy as the largest mammal to ever tread the earth. Megalodon Megalodon was the ocean's ultimate predator. It was a shark so large it could swallow a modern great white hole. This giant measured up to 60 feet long and weighed around 50 tons. Living millions of years ago during the Miocene and Pliocene epochs, it hunted whales and other large marine mammals. Fossilized teeth, some over 7 inches long, are evidence of its sheer power and dominance. Its extinction is linked to cooling oceans and declining prey populations, leaving behind only its massive teeth as remnants of its reign. Lead Sictus Lead Sictus was a prehistoric filter feeder, the largest fish ever known. This Jurassic giant reached lengths of up to 65 feet and weighed up to 50 tons, rivaling today's largest whales. It mainly fed on plankton, using gill rakers to filter vast quantities of water. Despite its massive size, it was likely preyed upon by marine reptiles like pliosaurs. Fossil evidence from Europe reveals a creature uniquely adapted to dominate the oceans of its time, a peaceful giant in a world of predators. Blue Whale Finally, we have the blue whale, the largest animal to ever exist. It still roams the Earth's oceans today. Measuring up to 100 feet in length and weighing as much as 200 tons, it dwarfs all over other creatures. This gentle giant, though, feeds on krill, consuming several tons each day using its baleen plates. Blue whales also communicate using low-frequency calls that travel across vast ocean distances. Despite their immense size, the blue whales also endangered due to human activities, reminding us the fragility of even the mightiest species. And that pretty much does it for my first ever video. 
um, I really can't do much for an end card right now because, well, well, this is my first video. But like, yeah, if ever this video gets like blown up or something or gets some views, you guys can leave some comments down below, like suggestions, like uh, what else could I talk about? And yeah, thanks for sticking around and I really hope that you guys have a good day and that's, that's all.